Hi, this is Tawana from Poman Mills, and today I'm making a barbecue bacon, potato, and spinach hash. It's easy, super, super easy, and it's very yummy. I can't wait to show you how to make it. Okay, so we're going to start with our bacon. I mean, we have to start with our bacon, right? <laughs> bacon is all that matters in this video, and it's going to define our video. <laughs> so take your bacon out of the package, about four or five slices, and chop it into cubes. Sometimes it's easier if you pop it in the freezer first, and that makes it a lot easier to cut. Okay, so we're gonna add our chopped bacon to a hot skillet. Uh, notice there is no oil in our skillet. Bacon comes with its own oil in the form of bacon grease, <laughs> AKA liquid gold. So we're gonna cook our bacon on medium low heat until it's nice and crispy. I am so busy running my mouth, I am being so rude. How could I not let you guys hear the beautiful sound of bacon frying? Okay, hold on, hold on. Ah, isn't that beautiful? It can put a baby to sleep. Okay, keep an eye on your bacon and make sure it doesn't go too far and burn. Once our bacon is perfectly crispy, remove it from the oil with a slotted spoon, leaving the bacon grease in the pan, and remove it to paper towels so that it can retain its crispiness. Okay, we've made it to the seasonings. Um, I think most of the time when you're seasoning your food, you season your food based on the mood you're in that particular day. Um, this day, I was in a barbecue mood. So I was eyeballing my cumin seasonings, chili powder, paprika. Um, so that's how this recipe is barbecue bacon. Um, but you can mix whatever seasonings you want to add here. I'm pretty sure there aren't too many seasonings that will mess up this recipe, so mix and match however you like. Okay, time for more cooking. Um, to the hot bacon grease, we're going to add our potatoes. Um, for this recipe, I cut up four large russet potatoes into cubes. Um, season them very well with salt and pepper. Okay, while the potatoes are cooking, I wanted to provide you with other alternatives of cooking the potatoes. Um, you don't have to saute them in the pan like I did. Um, you can actually dice them um, and boil them. Make sure you drain the water off of them really, really well before you add them to the bacon grease um, and proceed with the recipe. Another alternative is to bake them. Um, you can roast them in the oven, I would say about a 400 degree oven uh, for about 20, 25 minutes, and then add them into the baking fat and go from there. Whatever you choose is cool. You can see that beautiful brown color that we got on our potatoes. So we're gonna keep repeating this process until they're nice and tender. Okay, so our potatoes are showing off a little bit and looking all nice and purdy. They have um, beautiful color on them. I love cast irons because they seem to be the, um, the device, the vehicle to get um, that beautiful brown color that we're looking for. So now we're gonna add more flavor. We're gonna add some chopped onion and some fresh minced garlic. And here is where my mood comes in, and we're gonna add our barbecue mixture. Flavor overload, folks. Mm -hmm. 
And for some beautiful green color and freshness, we're gonna add some spinach. But of course, feel free to add arugula, or even if you wanted to add another veggie, you can add something like asparagus. Oh wow, it looks so delicious right now. I tell you, we don't need to go any steps further. I can eat it right now. Oops. Oh, wait a second. Did I really say that without the bacon added? Add the bacon. <laughs> well, there you have it. My barbecue bacon, potato, and spinach hash. It's beautiful, it's easy, and it's rustic. Thank you so much for spending this time with me. If you are looking for the recipe, you can look in the description box and find it on my website. I'll see you next time. Yeah, boys.